Today we talked about even and odd functions, and if you remember, we're talking about function symmetry, we're not talking about end behavior. We use the words even and odd a lot, but today we talked about symmetry and even and odd symmetry. Even symmetry, if you look at this picture right here, even symmetry is when a function on a graph has symmetry about the y-axis and that means, let me get this out of the way, that means that if you were to draw a vertical line right down the y-axis it cuts the graph exactly in half. One side of the graph is a mirror image over the other. right? If you look at even symmetry on this side, the parabola can be upside down, the graph can be upside down, you still have what we call even symmetry or line symmetry when we talked about the logos. It means that the y-axis cuts you right in half. All right, then what does an odd function look like? Let's scroll up here. All right, odd functions have symmetry about the origin and that means if we could put a pen right in the middle of our function and we could flip it upside down, it would look exactly the same and that's what we did in class today is we just turned it upside down, right would go up, left would go down, if you turned it upside down then it would still look exactly the same and the same with this one. That's what we call symmetry about the origin. That means if you pivot it around the origin, it looks exactly the same. Now looking at the examples in class, this would be an example of odd symmetry. Symmetry about the origin. Right? This one in the middle would be an example of no symmetry at all, neither. Why? Because it's a lovely parabola, but the y-axis is over here. There is no symmetry about the y-axis. There's no dividing by the y-axis. This is a parabola that's sitting mostly with negative x values, at least for the smaller part of the parabola here. So there is no symmetry at all here. Going over to number three, you would have even symmetry or symmetry about the y-axis. Again, the y-axis cuts it perfectly in half. All right, let's keep moving. All right, if we were to go down our document here, we evaluated these expressions. If you raise negative 2 to the second power, that's negative 2 times negative 2, that would equal positive 4. If you raise negative 2 to the third power, negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2, you would get negative 8. If you raise negative 3 to the fourth power, you would get a positive 81. Our takeaway from this is that if you raise a negative number to an even power, as in numbers 1 and numbers 3, your answer is positive. You get a positive product. If you raise a negative number to an odd power, as in number 2 right here, your answer is negative. Remember these rules. These rules are very important. I want you to remember these rules. All right. Let's look here if we scroll down a little bit. Let's see if I can scroll down a little bit. As far as determining algebraically if our function is even or odd, We, in class, set up our rules that if our function, or f of x, is equal to the opposite of the function, then it would be even. So if f of x 
equals f of negative x. In other words, not the opposite of the function. That was incorrect. I should correct myself. If the function for a value of x is equivalent to the function where every x is replaced with a negative x, then that would be an even function. But if you take that f of negative x, we just wrote that right here, and you replace it with the opposite of the original function, that would be the opposite of f of x. If those two were equal, that would be an odd function. So I want you to remember this. f of x, f of negative x, negative f of x. If the first two are equivalent, it's even. If the second two are equivalent, it's odd. Well, this sounds awful complicated, so let's just put it into practice and see how it actually works out. Let's look at number one. Our function and again, we're going to look at our system up above. We're going to write f of x, f of negative x, and negative f of x. And we're going to look. f of x is my original function right here. And I'm going to write it down. And I'm going to write it over here a little bit to the side. Now let's look at f of negative x. What's f of negative x? If I take everywhere I see x, and instead I put negative x, well, what do I get? Remember your rules up top as far as negative bases and positive or negative exponents. If I have a negative base and I have a positive exponent, excuse me, an even exponent, not positive, negative base, an even exponent, my answer is positive. So negative x squared is going to give me a positive x squared minus 3. These two equations are exactly the same. These two expressions are exactly the same. So this is an even function. Just to prove my point, I'm going to show you what looks what it looks like if I put in the opposite of my function, that would be negative x squared minus 3. That would be negative x squared, distribute that negative, positive 3. These two are not the same. Let's try it one more time. Let's try with number 2. We have f of x, f of negative x, and negative f of x. All right, let's see what works f of x is just my original function. I'm just going to write it over here. x to the fifth plus x to the third. Now, f of negative x means I'm just going to replace every x with a negative. So I'm going to have negative x to the fifth power plus negative x to the third power. Remember my rule from up top. Negative base, negative number raised to an odd exponent is going to give me a negative number. So I'm going to have negative x to the fifth plus a negative x to the third or minus x to the third. Well, those two don't look anything the same. So let's try here. What if I negate my entire function? The opposite of x to the fifth plus x to the third, what does that equal? Distribute the negative, negative x to the fifth minus x to the third. Well, look what I've got here. I have these two are the same. So my function is odd. One more time f of x, f of negative x, negative f of x. My function is x to the fourth minus x. If I replace every x with a negative, I have negative x to the fourth minus negative x. Well, what does that give me? 
a negative base raised to an even exponent, an even power, my answer is positive. So that's going to be positive x to the fourth minus a negative is plus my x. All right, let's go with negative f of x is opposite of the entire function. Go back to my original function to figure out what that would be. x to the fourth minus x and that's going to equal opposite of x to the fourth is negative x to the fourth opposite of negative x is positive x well this function and this and this none of these are the same so this would be neither it's not an even function and it's not an odd function. One more time, f of x, f of negative x, negative f of x, 3x squared plus 1. This would give me 3 times negative x squared plus 1. What's my rule again? Negative base raised to an even power is going to give me positive. So I'm going to have 3x squared positive, again a positive number, plus 1. And then if I did it as negative f of x, that would be negative 3x squared plus 1. That would give me negative 3x squared. Again, I'm distributing my negative, minus 1. Well, what am I finding the same again? I'm finding these first two are the same. That's an even function. Remember, at all times, go back to your formula up top here. If f of x and f of negative x are equivalent, it's an even function. If f of x, or excuse me, if f of negative x and your negative f of x, in other words, your function with x made negative, and then the opposite of your original function, if those are the equivalent, then it's an odd function. Hopefully this helps you a little bit to understand odd and even function in symmetry.